welcome back. It is time again for our Pet Doctor segment. We have Dr. Larson here as always. Good morning, and Jim. This is an adorable one. <laughs> who, who and what is this? Who is Scout? A scout. He's a little guy. <laughs> and what is he? He's a Shih Tzu cross. I'm not certain what that cross is. We could make our own decision on that. I don't but know. I bet but he's a hybrid. He is adorable. Uh, we're going to talk about something um, might be a little more fitting as the weather turns colder a little bit for humans anyways. But, you know, dogs cough. They develop coughs. But we're going to talk about one specific reason, canine influenza, which first of all, let's start off with how common is that? It's getting more and more common. We've seen influenza, Tim, for the last several years mm -hmm. in, in our dogs, but uh, we're seeing more and more frequent outbreaks of it. Yeah, there seems and to be a lot more news yeah, about we're, we're, these, it becoming more of a problem. That's right. That's so, sure. you know, in fact, it's getting so common that uh, there now is a, a dog flu influenza prevention week. Oh, my gosh. That so that tells you just you know. how common it is. Um, you know, we, we refer to it in humans as, oh, I have the flu. Right. Do we do that same thing with dogs? We can. It's called okay. dog flu. Okay. So so let's just call it dog flu. So if you hear one or the other, that we're talking about the same same thing. Does it have a season? You know, for humans, it seems to be late fall during the winter. What about dogs? Now, unfortunately for veterinarians, there's no season. No. It can happen any time. And okay. so uh, we have to keep our guard up all the time to help control this canine influenza or dog flu. Okay. And we're going to keep kind of comparing them. You know, with us, it's, you know, kids, the elderly that it really impacts most severely. What about in our canine friends? Well, we left out the middle. That's yes. where dog flu comes in. Really? Middle-aged dogs okay. are the most affected by the dog flu. Uh, a puppy like uh, Scout here may not even get it. Really? As he gets older, maybe so. I find that very interesting. Um, does Is it something that we have to worry about? Like, no, Tim, it's not contagious to us. It doesn't translate to no, us. No, dog okay. flu doesn't go to people. People flu doesn't go to dogs, so that's the good thing. Cats don't get it either, but dog to dog, you bet. What about that? How contagious is it between I dogs? think on a 1 to 10 scale for contagiousness, it's like an 11. Holy cow. It wants to spread. It's airborne. Dogs will um, um, cough and get the virus spread around. Um, it, um, it, even if you're, say, you're taking your dog for a walk and it comes across another dog that maybe has the flu mm -hmm. just on the sidewalk, bingo. And you said, is it a, how does it, you know, what causes it? Is it a virus? It's a virus. It's okay. called an influenza virus. Okay. And the most common one, the most recent one, I should say, is H3N2. But that may change next week. We okay. don't know which one is going to kind of evolve a little bit. It keeps evolving. How, how severe is it? Luckily, the, uh, so far, the dog flu has not been a real severe thing. Okay. It's been fairly mild. The dogs okay. still eat with it. Boy, do they cough. Yeah. Um, but uh, they, they play and they otherwise feel you, good. You brought up the coughing. What are the symptoms here? That would be the name one, main number one, one thing. They cough. Hack, gag it, phlegm. Okay. Uh, no vomiting, no diarrhea with it. It's a real hack. Yeah, real hack. And then uh, some people say my dog's vomiting, but when they question them, well, it's phlegm. Yeah. It builds up in the throat okay. and they, they hack it out. Well, how can you prevent it then? There's a vaccine. Only works partly uh, because of the flu virus for people. Yeah. Only works partly. Um, it does help shorten the, the duration of the illness. Mm-hmm. And it also will, um, uh, or the duration of the sickness too, the severity okay. of the sickness, but it's not a guarantee that yeah. your dog's not gonna get dog okay. flu if it comes in contact with another dog with it. All right, some really good information there. Thank you, you Doc. Uh, we'll let you go scout, you cute little devil. Uh, stick with us, we're gonna be coming right back. <laughs> 